So since my last install guide for R5 Reloaded is from 9 months ago and super out of date, I thought I should make a new updated one. Firstly, it's a good idea to join the R5 Reloaded Discord server, which I'll link in the description. In the instructions channel, you can find an install guide if you prefer that to this video, or if you've come here in the distant future and have forgotten to update the guide. If you want to ask a question, you don't need to add someone in the server, simply ask in the questions channels. Also, the threads are rather useful. For example, if you're getting a common error such as the Miles language error or want to use a wireless controller, there are threads on these subjects and many others. The first step to getting R5 Reloaded is to install Origin or the EA app and log in with an alternate account to your main. While no one has been banned for using R5 Reloaded, it's better to stay safe and not use your main. Next, make sure Apex Legends is in the library. Downloading it is not necessary. Now we can start on actually downloading it. Links for everything here will be in the description or you can find them in the R5 Reloaded Discord in instructions. Firstly, download and install Qubit Torrent and open it. Then copy and paste the magnet link to the Season 3 Apex build here and click download. Here you can choose the folder you'll be installing to. The finished install is 42.5GB so make sure you have room. After clicking OK the download will start. Once it is done it will say seeding. You can right click and pause after this. Then right click again and open the destination folder which should look like this. The next step is downloading the SDK. Go to the GitHub link and download depot.zip. Once this is finished, open up the zip file with 7zip or WinRAR. Select everything inside and drag over to the Season 3 files. Make sure you don't drop them in a folder. You want to place them in the base file. While copying, you'll be asked if you want to replace files. Allow it to replace. After copying across, your file should look like this. If you've done everything correctly, the game is now ready to launch. Make sure you have Origin or the EA app open and then simply run r5apex.exe to open the game. Once the game is open, press enter to continue. Now you're in the lobby, at the top of the screen you can select the server browser if you want to join a server. If you want to just play with yourself, select create server. Then select Survival Dev under Playlists and select a map to play on. Then hit Start Game to load in. Now you're in game, you may want to run commands or use the dev menu. Open up the console using tilde or the insert key, then type sv underscore cheats1 and hit enter. Now you can run commands in the console such as noclip1 which lets you fly around and through objects. You can now also use the dev menu by hitting escape and clicking the button in the lower left. This lets you change legends, give different abilities or recharge them and give yourself weapons along with other options. Since we now have a gun, we also need something to shoot at. Remember the threads in the R5 Reloaded Discord? Well, we can use them to find out how to spawn dummies. Simply put this line into the console and you'll be able to spawn dummies at the crosshair using the U key on the keyboard. Another fun thing to try out is wall running and double jumping. To enable this we want to edit the playlists file. Find the survival dev section which is the playlist used for messing around by yourself. Then put these lines in the section to turn on wall running and double jumping. And then save. Now simply launch the game and start the game with the survival dev playlist and the extra movement will be enabled. So if you've installed R5 Reloaded, you might want to try playing the new Flow State Aim Trainer by Columbia FPS. This mod adds what is in my opinion the best way to train aim in Apex. Thankfully it isn't too hard to install. First you need to go to the Aim Trainer GitHub page, linked in the description of course. Then click the green code button and download zip. Download this to someplace convenient on your PC. Next, click the latest release here and download the three files highlighted. Take note of the location they need to go while you're here. Next in your R5 Reloaded install, go into Platform and then Scripts. You can remove the default scripts and then copy the contents of the R5 Aim Trainer zip into the Scripts folder. Next, go one folder up to Platform. Here you want to replace the playlist's r5 patch.txt in your install with the one you downloaded. 
Next inside platform make a new folder called resource and inside that another folder called UI. Now move HUD scripted underscore MP dot res into the new UI folder. Finally go back to the main install folder and find the packs folder. Open it and you want to place aim trainer R pack inside win 64. Now the mod installers finish and you can open R5 reloaded as usual. To play the aim trainer, go to the create server and use the flow state aim trainer playlist, then select a map and enjoy aim training. If you want to see a detailed look at the aim trainer challenges and features, check out the video on screen now. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you found this video useful.